Hi, this is Doug in my Mavic Air 2, and uh, today I want to take a look at the flight speeds of the Mavic Air 2. Uh, there are some published in the uh, user manual, and I've seen some videos by various uh, folks on YouTube that's showing uh, some speeds, and mostly they focus on how fast does it go forward, and everybody wants to see it zooming and you know down the down the field so to speak, but uh, never really saw left and right speeds. Uh, ascend and descend speeds uh, in all the three different modes tripod uh, Normal and sport mode. So those are things I was curious about what uh, what does it really look like in those uh, modes? And what does that mean to us as? Uh, uh, videographers or photographers and uh, uh, Let's take a look and, and see what the results are Okay, so here's the data taken directly from the user manual for the Mavic Air 2 and you can see it's got ascent speed and descent speed for uh, sport mode and normal mode. But notice there's no tripod mode uh, noted for those two fe features. I don't know why they skipped that. That's a good question. And uh, lastly, the max speeds um, in all three modes, which is great. But it doesn't really indicate left, right, forward, backward, or anything like that, uh, which we'll get, we'll get to a little bit later. But those are the two questions I'm really trying to ask. What What's the ascent and descent speed um, of the Mavic Air 2 in uh, tripod mode? And what are the left and right speeds and, and, and backward speeds um, in the other modes? So we'll, uh, we'll try to get to that. So here's uh, the UAV forecast for the day, and you can see that it's showing winds at about 100 feet at about 4 miles per hour. That, that should affect uh, our results somewhat, although when I was out there flying, I couldn't detect any breeze at all at my uh, ground level. So whether it was 4 miles per hour or a little less at that height, uh, we'll just have to see. Okay, so we're going to test all six axes of movement. That would be flying upwards or ascending, uh, descending. Uh, moving to the right, moving to the left, going forward, and coming back in reverse. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first test can be in normal mode in the upper left-hand corner. You can see the normal mode. And uh, we're going to be looking at our speed down here on the lower left. And this is in uh, ascent mode, uh, going upwards in normal mode. You get up to 8.9 miles per hour, pretty much, is your top speed. And your descent speed... Um, creeps up to just about uh, 6.7, I think, was the highest we could get. Yeah, 6.7. So uh, that's pretty good. Now here's our forward speed, again, in normal mode. We're going to get it up to 25.2, 24.9. So 25.2 is the highest we got, maybe, you know, just to say 25 miles an hour for the heck of it. And in full reverse, we're going to show it uh, coming up. Oh, 22.9, so basically 23 miles an hour, just a slightly less than full forward. Could be a wind factor or a breeze factor at that elevation. I'm not sure. Uh, our strafing left speed, getting up to 24, 25, 24.9, so 25 miles an hour, basically the same as uh, for, full forward. Um, that's pretty quick. And here we are zooming off to the right. And we're going to get up to about uh, 25 as well. So same speed, forward and reverse. Okay, here we're going to go in tripod mode. Uh, we're going to see how fast we can go uh, ascending. 2.2 miles per hour. So slow. This is really just almost painfully slow. <laughs> um, that aircraft was far away to our right. No problem there. Our descent speed is uh, 2.2, 2.2. So the same uh, ascent and descent speeds in tripod mode. Uh, again, painfully slow. Even if you're taking cinematic photography, it's it's pretty slow. We're going to go uh, full forward in tripod mode, and uh, we're going to get it up to uh, 10.8, 11, 11 miles per hour. And we're going to check it out uh, in full reverse. And we're going to get it to uh, climb up to a whopping 10.6, uh, 10.8, uh, 11 miles per hour as well. So forward and reverse, again, 11 miles per hour, the same speeds. And strafing to the left. Pretty much 11 miles per hour. So we're finding that... Uh, 
uh, left and right speeds, forward and reverse speeds in all modes are pretty similar. Pretty similar, um, at least uh, in the first two modes we've tested here. We're going to put it in sport mode and uh, give a little uh, full forward in sport. The published numbers have been 42 and a half or something like that. And we're going to get right up there, just about there, 42.4. And a full stick forward. Full stick reverse, I could not get it up to 42. I could only get it up in this test to um, about 30, 34, 35 or so. I did try it later on, and I turned it around on the same path, and I was able to get up to 40 in reverse. But bottom line, the reverse full speed in, in sport mode seems to be a little less than the, the full forward. However, going left, and I had to look out for that uh, hill there, um, or to the right as we show it here, you're going to get it up to a pretty decent speed of, uh, you know, 40 miles per hour. Again, for government purposes, that's uh, just about the same as forward and reverse. Our ascent speed here is 8.7. And we're going to get our descent speed up to 6.7 miles per hour, which is uh, pretty consistent right there. Now here's the uh, results that we've uh, come up with here. Test results are on the right. You can see that uh, we have an ascent and descent speed now for uh, tripod mode uh, at 2.2 miles per hour. And you can also see that the test results for the ascent and descent speeds match perfectly what the published speeds were, which is, I thought was pretty, pretty impressive. Um, then we get down to the bottom, we have our max left right speeds. And basically you can see that they really are pretty much synonymous with our maximum speeds, which is why they uh, chose not to publish a left and right speed it looks like because uh, they're pretty much uh, maximum all the directions now i will say this that your maximum reverse speed in sport mode and normal mode i couldn't quite get it up to the uh, actual top speed of 42.4 of but uh, close to enough for for government work i think okay so you've seen the uh, the flight results and a uh, couple things to note uh, number one is uh this guy flies pretty fast, forward, uh, backwards, and side to side. Uh, basically the same speeds in each of the modes. Uh, if you're in sport mode, that means you're going 42 miles an hour, or 40 miles an hour anyway, left and right. Uh, it's not gonna stop fast if you're in sport mode. So you've got to be aware of this when you're flying this puppy around. Um, if you think that uh, left and right is gonna be any slower, it's not. So be very much aware of that. And there are, of course, no sensors. Uh, on the left hand side uh, or right hand side of the drone so you are taking some risks uh, even in normal mode um, when you've got forward and reverse sensors but nothing on the side so be careful the next thing is uh, cinematic mode or tripod mode um, the 2.2 ascent and descent speed is very slow it depending on what you're filming uh, it, it's almost just too slow um, I know they want it to be cinematic and they don't want to uh, add any motion blur that's uh, not necessary. But uh, you may have to, if you if you go full stick forward or uh, up and down, full stick, you may have to speed it up in post just to get up the motion that you want, some movement in your image, because uh, 2.2 is pretty slow. Uh, secondly, in tripod mode, the left and right speed of 11 miles per hour is sort of fast. And in fact, uh, I'm gonna put a sample in here and we'll talk about uh, what it means to you going left and right in cinematic mode um, at, at 11 miles per hour. It's uh, a little too fast sometimes. Take a look. Okay, as we strafe here right uh, and then back left and then back right again, notice the uh, images in the background of the plants. Uh, a little, I don't want fuzzy, but it's just not clear, not sharp, not uh, particularly pleasing to the eye uh, on a straight left and right. Uh, pan. Now, when you use the focus tractor active, active track, uh, I think the image looks uh, quite a bit smoother, um, less uh, blurriness, and uh, overall a, a better image. Okay, so having seen that, the question is do you do a half a stick and go uh, five miles per hour left and right, or, or do you use the active track or the focus track to focus on an object and move? around it and still getting your motion in the shot and I know it's not a really a straight left and right strafe 
but uh, from a cinematography standpoint, I think your image is going to be much better if you use that after track or focus track on an object and move around it and still get your motion in. So that's pretty much what I've got for you today. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. And you uh, please be safe and take care out there.